When Lexington mom Jennifer Frankel started a Facebook group for parents of children with ADHD, she only hoped it would grow to be the community of support she felt was missing. There was nothing here in Lexington. Um, I wanted to talk to other parents. I felt you feel very secluded. Over the years, Frankel says for many parents, it has become vital especially as the nation experiences a shortage of a critical medication used to treat their children. Some of them cannot get the medications that they need. Um, asking if there are any other parents out there experiencing that and what they have done. A lot of parents are struggling right now. Adderall, which is amphetamine, the mixed salts of it, uh, is the primary drug that we're having shortage with. Owner of the pharmacy shop, Dr. Clarence Sullivan, has been a pharmacist for 40 years. It is normal to have uh, shortages at times. Um, I don't think this is being blown out of proportion. A survey conducted this summer by the National Community Pharmacists Association found that roughly 64% of pharmacists they studied said that they were having difficulty finding these. The FDA tracks drug shortages and on their website you can see back orders and supply constraints for several versions of the drug and active ingredient. The biggest impact from the country's largest manufacturer of Adderall, Teva Pharmaceuticals. While Teva says they continue to produce and refill regularly at levels above historical demand, people may have a hard time getting their prescriptions filled until sometime in November and even later for generic Adderall brands. We're having a little difficulty uh, with stock levels. Overall, we've tried to stock well enough to take care of our patients. And we've had a lot of phone calls recently of people that cannot get them at their regular pharmacy. So what should you do? The FDA is advising people to reach out to their doctors. Most of the time, I've been telling my patients, it's a controlled substance, so you can really only fill it every 30 days. But I've had them call when they have about a week of medication left so we can start calling around to pharmacies and figuring out where we're going to send their prescription. Pediatrician Elizabeth Hall says so far she has only had a few calls. A little bit of juggling. It's not been awful and we've been able to find it. I don't think I've had a patient yet that we've been unable to find it for. So we can sometimes change the dosing of the extended release or we can change brands or products. Um, there are sort of cousins of Adderall that you can use. Most importantly, don't freak out and give up. Dr. Hall says call your provider early so they can help before you run out. Christiana Ford, Evening Edition. The FDA's drug shortage webpage provides additional information about the shortage and is updated regularly. We'll include a link to that on the story on our website.